Welcome aboard the Swan 112 Song of the Sea. Known as the most beautiful swan, she has a Dick Young interior and lovely, classic Herman Frere's good looks. Here we are on deck at her berth in Palma, Mallorca. As you can see, she's got a lovely flush deck and well-sorted, refreshed rig with four spreaders and powered in boom furling. Lovely flush hatches, clear decks everywhere. Her sail controls are managed with captive winches. This means that the side decks and other areas are completely free of any ropes and clutter. We're now walking back to the aft deck. She has a huge cockpit for entertaining and sailing, sunbathing area, and great area aft, which is where the dinghy garage lives. Here we can see it with the yacht at anchor in more clement climbs. Big swim step, good access in for the dinghy, all hydraulically operated and looking absolutely great. This makes her a great platform from which to swim or dive or whatever. Now back in Palmer, on deck, we're going down the starboard side and there is an access panel in here which goes down into the engine room, which means that all that mess and noise can be accessed without going through the main accommodation. And here we go again, and we're going to step into the cockpit, two seating areas and twin wheels. These are very, very comfortable and it means that the nav, the helmsman, can actually be in touch with guests on board. All the controls for both sailing the boat and for manoeuvring her are on these great pedestals. Everything is hydraulically controlled in terms of sailing and handling the yacht and the electronics are recently updated. These two tables extend so that you can have many people for dinner, or lunch in fact. Refrigeration. And now here is her fabulous pilot house saloon. Light just floods in. But the thing to really notice as we come below and see the non-set table is the astonishing joinery. There is no other Swan 112 like this with this level of detailing, which is quite extraordinary and was designed by Dick Young and executed at the yard in Pietazari. Mostly in teak with the most astonishing burrs, marquetry, inlay, all just perfect. And marble top surface for the Pilot House Saloon bar with extra refrigeration, of course. The lovely thing is that you can sit down and see out. Just wanted to show you these handmade chairs and the floor is faultless. Now we're going to go down into the forward section of the yacht. Here we are, and here is a starboard guest cabin. You can see from this shot that it looks exactly as good on a grey day in Palmer as it does in the publicity shots. And then, as with all the cabins, there is a generous heads all of the furniture here is handmade for Song of the Sea 
and the marble is beautifully matched and figured. And then we are looking at this fabulous piece of marquetry at the bottom of the steps and we go into the control room which is the heart of the ship. Part navigation station and part control systems area for all uh, that's happening aboard Song of the Sea. I'm now going to take you into the engine room. We're walking down past one of the generators, battery chargers to our right, and then the main engine is here. Gearbox rebuilt recently. There's a converter just that you can see there, and these battery chargers are all working well. Everything has been thoroughly serviced. Now we're walking past hydraulics and the like, big toolkit, and past the main engine is the second generator. And you can see on the far side, access out of the engine room onto the deck. This engine room has a huge amount of sound deadening, and that is also apparent elsewhere on the yacht, which means that she is incredibly quiet when you are on board. The crew area is forward, and that will be featured in a video that will follow later. So back into this stunning deck saloon, and then we go down the steps that take us to the owners and guest accommodation. Do you see these elegant steps down? And there is stainless steel and Song of the Sea emblems on the handrails. Twin cabin for guests. If you see the detailing at the bottom of the berths, lots of light beautifully figured door panels, another super heads compartment, lots of space, elegant and very comfortable to spend time on board. And then across to the second guest cabin, which is a mirror image. Again, the detailing everywhere of the joinery is absolutely lovely and it is faultlessly executed. Separate shower stalls, obviously, on both sides. And here we are in the owner's stateroom. Lots of natural light, in fact. That lovely bed roll. Good seating area. And then we go into a very large heads compartment with separated shower stall. just like the other heads compartments, except there's a little bit more of it. It's in super condition. And then as we come out, you can see all of the panelling in this cabin. And there is a TV, which turns into a mirror when it's not in use. 